Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. So, if you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. In previous video, we have discussed about various parts of diesel generator. So for that, I have a given link in this video description box. So. In this video, we will learn about preventive maintenance of the diesel generator. So, let's start it. Basically, why we do preventive maintenance of the DG state? If we do not do preventive maintenance as per our schedule, then it might be DG operation failure or breakdown or some major parts of DG will be damaged. So, due to that, we might face the DG accidental problem. So that's why we have to do preventive maintenance as for our schedule. So what are the basic advantage of the preventive maintenance of the diesel generator? So these are reduction in unexpected DG operation failure or breakdown and increases the efficiency of DG. Finally, if the efficiency of DG is increased, then automatically operating and maintenance cost of the DG is reduced. And finally, to continue the safety of the DG seat. Now come to next. So what are the types of preventive maintenance? So there are four types of preventive maintenance check. These are A check, B check, C check and D check. So let's discuss each step one by one. Now come to A checks. So A check is done on daily basis. So what we have to do in A checks. So these are check the fuel level. So we have a fuel indicator in the DG. With the help of that, we can monitor the fuel level of DG. If it is below the half, I suggest you to add the fuel into the diesel tank. And next is check the lube oil level. So this lube oil maintains the engine frictionless and also reduce the heating effect inside the diesel engines. So with the help of this stick, basically this stick is to measure the level of the lube oil in the engine, diesel engine. So over here, it is marked H and low. H means high level and L means low level. If the lube oil is near to L, it means we have to add lube oil. Now next is check the coolant level. So with the help of coolant expansion tank, we can monitor the level of the coolant. Actually over there, it is marked high and low. If it is near to low, add some coolant over here to reach it maximum level. In case you are not sure, at that time, we can check the level of the coolant from the radiator cap. So during the checking the coolant level, make sure DG should be off. So at that time, open the cap of the coolant radiator cap and with the help of a stick, we can measure the coolant level. If it is sufficient, then no need to add the coolant. If it is low, over there, we have to add the coolant at the high level or at maximum level. Make sure a stock of the fuel, lube oil and coolant at any time near the DZ. So in case emergency, in case level of this parameter will reduce, at that time we can add it to the maximum level. And next is check the battery voltage with the help of multimeter or with the help of DG control panel we can monitor the battery voltage it should be always 24 volt and check the B belt condition it should not be loose and worn out if it is loose then tight it if it is worn then replace it and check the cleanliness of the DG set so make sure DG set should be clean from internal or external side and check the leakage from anywhere properly and check the all filters including fuel filter, bypass filter, live oil filter, air filter. So this parameter should be check in A check. Now next is B check. So B check is done after 300 to 
350 running hours of the cycle or 6 months whichever is earlier. In this check we have to repeat the A check. So perform the A check and change the leave while and also change the fuel filter, leave while filter, bypass filter and water separator filter and air filter and also clean the radiator with the help of cleaning agent chemical and check the coolant level. If it is low then add some coolant to reach at maximum level. So this step we have to follow in B checks. Now come to next check which is C check. So C check is done after 800 to 1500 running hours of cycle or three years whichever is earlier so in this checks we have to perform or repeat a check and b checks and additional check all the electrical terminals of the alternator and cable connection thimbles or locks and also check the pollution level of the dg generator exhaust system because in the exhaust cases we have a many hazardous gases including nitrogen, carbon dioxide, etc. So make sure emission of these gases should be within the limit as per pollution control board. Now next is D checks. So D check is done in 3000 to 5000 running hours of the cycle. So in this check we have to repeat the A check, B check and C check. So Perform A check, B check and C check and in this check complete DG should be dismantled and servicing of injector pin will be done and servicing of the cylinder head will be done and servicing of the fuel pump will be done. If DG runs hour is greater than 9000 hours then we need to be done following word. So replace the nozzles of fuel injector pin and replace the piston bearing and change the canopy filter if required and piston cylinder also need to be changed. So basically in D checks we have completely dismantled the DG set and we have completely reassemble it. So in this video we have discussed about preventive maintenance of the DG. So these are A check, B check, C check and D checks. So hope you understand it. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos related to electrical, plumbing, HVAC as well as AutoCAD drafting. So thank you very much. See you again in next video.